Hey everybody, in this video I'm showing you how to enable Samsung's service mode on Android phones on Verizon. Now you might be wondering, what is the service mode? Well, I actually have a secondary camera here, so I'm going to show you. If you have a Samsung Galaxy phone, what you can do is jump into the phone dialer application, dial star pound 0011 pound, and this will open up the service mode. There's two options here for SIM 1 and SIM 2. This is for the physical SIM and the eSIM. I'm going to tap on SIM 1 for the physical SIM, and you get tons of great information here. Up top, you can see information about your connection, such as the RSRP value, the RSRQ value, and the sign R. Uh, you can see what what you're specifically connected to, in this case, band two with 15 megahertz of available bandwidth. And I should actually be connected to, yep, band N41. And this has 100 megahertz of available bandwidth. So you get tons of really fun and cool information about your connection in Samsung service mode. But if you have a Verizon phone, so that phone is on T-Mobile. If you have a Verizon phone like this Galaxy S22 Ultra is, and you dial star pound 0011 pound, You'll notice it doesn't immediately auto dial. And if you click the call button, you'll see it says connection problem or invalid MMI code. So Verizon actually disables the Samsung service mode by default. So in this video, I'm showing you exactly how to enable the Samsung service mode even on your Verizon Android phone. Now there's actually a great guide on Reddit, which I'm gonna be showing you. Uh, it's by Samsung guy. And basically he lists out all of the steps here, but he is missing a very key important step. I'm gonna call it step zero, and it's to download the Samsung Android USB driver. You need this so your Windows PC can read and recognize your phone when you connect it to your PC. All you're gonna do, I'll leave this linked in the video description, but all you're gonna do is download uh, the file right here. It'll download on your computer, and then you open it and just run the installation. So you'll get a pop-up, click yes, get another pop-up, click yes, and then you'll get an installation wizard that'll walk you through the installation process for the Samsung Android USB drivers. I'm gonna cancel this because I've already done it, but make sure you go through this process. Once that's done, you can go ahead and follow these steps. You're gonna wanna download this file that's linked. Uh, it's to a Dropbox link and it should just auto download. It's a zip file and if you open this up, you can see three things in it. What you're gonna wanna do here is copy the hidden menu enable tool application and this one right here, the .dll. You don't need the docs file. I'm not actually sure why that's there. It might be uh, some tutorials or something. I don't have a word processor on this computer so I wasn't able to actually open it. But copy this one down here and the DLL file and move them to a separate folder. I have already done that right here. The next step here is to grab your Android phone and you're gonna dial pound pound three, six, 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 three, three pound. This will enable a menu called DM mode. And you're gonna wanna tap the top option, enable DM mode. Let's see if I can get this, there we go. All right, once your phone looks like this, you're ready to plug it into your PC. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I plugged my phone into my PC on the floor. I'm just gonna leave it on this microfiber cloth right there and we're gonna follow the steps on the computer. Once your device is plugged into your computer, head on over to the folder you created, right click on the hidden menu, enable tool, and click run as administrator. You should see, oh, click yes on this pop-up, and then you should see a pop-up in the middle of your screen. It says ready in the left-hand column, and then something like com three, four, five, six, or seven in the right-hand column. All you're gonna wanna do is check to make sure hidden menu is set to enable and then click start. One thing I did notice is you do need to be quick with this menu because mine froze on me a bunch of times. So open it and then almost immediately click start and it should work for you as it eventually worked for me on like the fifth take, but there you go. And bam, it should say success when you're done. You can go ahead and unplug your device. Oh, this is such a big phone. You can go ahead and disconnect your device from your computer now and you can actually go ahead and put it into disable DM mode. And now if we go into the dialer application, we can dial star pound 0011 pound, and boom, we are in the Samsung service mode. You can tap SIM one, basic information. Here we are, this is the service mode and it has all the information. You can see we're connected to band two with 10 megahertz of available bandwidth. Uh, you can see the RSRP values, the RSRQ values, the sign R values. And yeah, everything you need. That's how you enable the Samsung service mode on Verizon. Please click the like button if you found this video helpful and share this video with one friend who's using a Samsung phone on the Verizon network so they get access to the service mode too. And also make sure you subscribe to save money on your cell phone bill. Thank you to these Patreon supporters for making videos like this possible and thanks to you for watching.